human vanity is a very profitable industry. From Facebook to Instagram, Snapchat to Flickr, we love posting pictures of ourselves. Hell, the selfie circuit industry on its own is a multi-billion dollar annual business. Hey, what is that? This is my new extended click. As the cameras in our pockets get better and our mobile data connections get stronger, increasingly we want to post video, not just still images. The problem is the cameras in our pockets are better, but we're not better camera operators. That means most cell phone videos end up looking like a shaky mess. DJI, the Chinese startup best known for making drones, is trying to fix that. It's taken the technology that it used to revolutionize aerial imaging and put it into a handheld stabilizer called the Osmo. For $650, you get something that's cheap and easy enough for the average consumer to use, but produces stabilized video that looks like it was shot by a Hollywood professional. The handle and camera of the Osmo alone weigh just half a pound. It weighs a little bit more when you put on the smartphone mount. Your smartphone acts as your viewfinder. You connect it to the Osmo through Wi-Fi, and then you can use this to see what you're shooting, change your camera settings, review what you filmed. The Osmo shoots 4K footage and 12 megapixel stills. It can also do 120 frame per second slow motion. The battery lasted about an hour in our testing. The Osmo has a trigger on the front, and that lets you center the camera and toggle between modes. You've got your standard grip here, your flashlight, and a grip where you can hold it sort of underslung like this. And of course, this being the ultimate selfie stick, the Osmo can point out and capture what you're seeing, or triple tap and duck face. We decided to take the Osmo out and test it against your average smartphone, the Hyperlapse app, and the professional gear that our video crew uses. We put the results side by side so you can judge for yourself. After spending a few weeks with the Osmo, the question in my mind is still, who exactly is this product for? Is the average consumer gonna shell out hundreds of dollars just to get a perfect home video? On the other hand, are professionals gonna choose the Osmo because it's cheaper and more mobile, even though the video quality isn't exactly up to what they're used to? What I can say for sure is, after spending some time with my Osmo, it's gonna be hard to go back to shooting video with the phone in your pocket. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go see.